Recycling. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr. Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Pepper and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Mm. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. Mm. Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. George wants to recycle the newspapers. OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty! <laughs> Silly me! I just love recycling! Yes, so do we! But we also love our little car! Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, and Peppa are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George, why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pajamas. 
George loves everything to do with space. Oh. <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Peppa, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh. Yes, and the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star. Are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh, dear. I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now, who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow! What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> Quick! Look! Oh! It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> the Dentist. Every morning, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are going to the dentist. Peppa, George, are you ready to go for your checkup? I'm too busy for a checkup. I'm having a tea party with Teddy. Yes, we're very busy. We all need checkups to make sure our teeth are clean and healthy. OK, Daddy. George, are your teeth clean like mine? It is George's first visit to the dentist. You both have lovely clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be very happy. <laughs> 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 
Pepper and George are at the dentist's, waiting for their checkup. Uh, waiting is boring. This magazine's very interesting. It's all about potatoes. <sighs> Pepper, George, the dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is Dr. Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Pepper. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr. Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. <laughs> Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr. Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> there. All done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Peppa. Spit it out. <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Peppa. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. That's right, George. Mr. Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gosh! What shiny teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Too scary! George loves Mr. Dinosaur, especially now he has nice clean teeth. <laughs> Peppa and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> They're going to play in their treehouse. <laughs> Peppa and George love their treehouse. Here are Peppa and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, <laughs> Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> Now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hello, Peppa. Well. Can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always buy all the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This tree house is for girls only. What's wrong? The 
the girls won't let us into the treehouse. <laughs> it isn't fair. Ho, ho. I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> a castle! Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <laughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> 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 the rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Oh, oh, I'll look after your castle, Daddy. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Pepper and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys. Pretend friend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. <laughs> this is my new friend, Leo Lion. Where is he? There's no one there. Susie has made up a pretend friend. Can't you see him, Peppa? Um... <laughs> Let's play catch. OK. To you, Leo. Peppa throws the ball to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um, yes. <coughs> roar! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah, hello, Leo. Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruitcake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruitcake for Susie and Peppa. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend friend. 
He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruitcake too? Rah! Leo loves fruitcake. Don't be silly, Peppa. That wasn't Leo. That was you. Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruit cake? He will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. says he can't finish his cake, so George can have it. <laughs> <laughs> can we play upstairs now? Yes, let's play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh. Rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are playing dressing up. Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie. And Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. <sniffs> Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? Someone else, King Leo Lion. Rah! Oh, <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is very fine, and he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, your friends are here. Peppa's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. <laughs> Pen pal. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Children, who would like a Pen pal. Me. What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Post! Peppa and George <laughs> love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me! <laughs> Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal! <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy? Why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Pepper. It means, hello, how are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. Jame les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever daddy. <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Um... Daddy Pig cleans his glasses so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! 
<rire> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, How are you? in French. Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> it is morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! <laughs> Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. Oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Oh, here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour! Oh. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello! Hello. <coughs> Dinosaur. Ah. Dragon. <coughs> 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 Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, parlons sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, J'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> Is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. Children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. 
Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madame, Madame Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong song. All right. Ooh, we're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. <laughs> What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <laughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And, and me. me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? All right. We're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. <laughs> Daddy Pig. Peppa and her family are borrowing Grandpa's boat for the day. Remember, Daddy Pig, push the lever forward to go forward. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. Forward. And back to go back. And back. Simple. And please look after my boat. I've just had it painted. Oh, Grandpa Pig. What an old fuss pot you are. <laughs> <laughs> are my crew ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Oh, the boat is moving backwards. Ah! Watch out for the bridge! Oops. Oh, that was close. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a lovely time. I hope my boat comes back in one piece. Stop worrying. It will be fine. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Peppa and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. Oh. <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow, TV. Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh. Well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. 
goo. <laughs> Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Oh, quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Quick, faster, Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! Oh. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. But let's head for home before we have any more adventures. Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. They've been gone for ages. I hope my boat's all right. Look, there they are. Hello. Hello. Ahoy, Ahoy there! there. <laughs> I'll just park the boat. <laughs> you park a car, but you moor a boat. I'll show you. Grandpa Pig is going to moor the boat. The secret of mooring is to do it carefully. Mind the bridge! What? Look, Look behind, behind you. you! Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Grandpa has broken his boat. Never mind, Grandpa. You can have lots of fun mending it. It is true that I love mending things. Can I help mend the boat, Grandpa? Oh, ho, ho. of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> the Power Cut. It is evening. Peppa and George are in the sitting room, dancing to their favourite song. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. And Mummy Pig is in her study, doing important work on her computer. Oh. Oh! Oh! Mummy! Daddy! It's gone all dark and the music is broken. And my vacuum won't work. And my computer has switched off. Ooh! Mummy Pig tries the light switch. But the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes. But in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK. I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh, I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you OK? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Peppa is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Peppa. <laughs> 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 oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be exactly? Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. <laughs> I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now 
you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. him. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Ahem. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> That's dance! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. <laughs> It is the day of the school fate. Miss Rabbit is running the raffle. Roll up, roll up. The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <coughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins a toy car. Well done, Danny. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins the balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And Teddy Dinosaur! Oh, and a Teddy and a Dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Hop aboard! <laughs> Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace, chocks away, full steam ahead! Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher! The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh! Where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh! Wow! The sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy, we're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy, I've dropped Teddy. <gasps> don't worry, Peppa, we'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. <laughs> there he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly, slowly, there. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, no one is looking where they are going. Look out! Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! Oh. First Teddy was stuck in a tree. And now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Uh, we are lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Look, everyone. That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes. We must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! 
Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Goodness me! Oh, hi there, Miss Rabbit. Uh, help, please. Grandpa, we can't get down. Don't worry, I've got a ladder. Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! <gasps> Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. How very exciting. I'm afraid the most exciting thing we can offer is a piece of my homemade chocolate cake. Homemade chocolate cake? That is exciting. <laughs> that was the best balloon ride ever. <laughs> And that was the best chocolate cake ever. <laughs> George catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Pepper, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Pepper and George must wear their rain clothes. George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. <coughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> Peppa! George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo! George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Achoo! Ugh, that's disgusting! <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo! George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh. Because Dr. Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George. Please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice and quiet. <laughs> It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. 
George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Peppa. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. Pepper and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pepper likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh! Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> My goodness, five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> Pirate 
Pet Island. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board. Full sail! See you later! See you later! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Aha! We found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boat. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> What a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, no! Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello. hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, uh actually, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look, there's Grandpa. We're safe. Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, oh of course we can, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Jumble sale. It is a rainy day and the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? 
You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <coughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Pepper is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Pepper, have you decided? Um. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. Okay, I'm going to give Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Pepper, you can't give away Mr. Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat, and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know the television. Not the telly. No, it's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> No, too smelly. <laughs> I know, Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Pepper, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs>